answered Pharaoh, your servants are shepherds, we as well as our forefathers. And they said to Pharaoh, we have come to sojourn in the land, since there is no grazing for your servants' flocks, for the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. Now, if you please, allow your servants to dwell in the region of Goshen. Now, by saying that they are shepherds, that is immediately excluding them from mainstream Egyptian society. Because, you know, the expression, holy cow, right? So that's because, right, in India, they still do worship cows, right? And that was the whole Karban Pesach was our taking that which they considered to be a deity and slaughtering it to Hashem, accepting Hashem as our deity. So by, by aligning, by, by indicating that they are shepherds, right, as well as our forefathers, right, it's, it's a generational thing. So what does Paro say? My father used to love this. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, saying, Achicha, avicha v'achicha bo'elecha. Your father and your brothers have come to you. <laughs> Meaning? You take them. You take them. They're, not, they're not going to be any benefit to Egypt, which is exactly, exactly what Yosef wanted to construct here. Bo'e lecha. They've come for you. Enjoy them. Right? There's nothing that I will be gaining from their coming. And then let's jump down to Pasuk Zion. Vayave Yosef et Yaakov Aviv. Now Joseph, uh, verse 7, the bottom 263. Yosef brought Yaakov his father. Vayamidehu and presented him with Paro. Now Vayamidehu, English says present, what does Vayamidehu literally means? And he stood him up, right? It seems, right, it sounds like he needed Yosef to, he needed help standing up. Vayami Dehu. Vayivarech Yaakov et Paro. 264, 65. And Yaakov blessed the Paro. Vayomer Paro el Yaakov. Then Paro says to Yaakov, Kama yeme shene chayecha. How many are the days of the years of your life? On one level, right, if he's asking about the days of the years. Remember by Avram, we said Avram was advanced in days. Days means the amount that a person has accomplished. Mm -hmm. So what are the days of the years of your life? But nevertheless, it is a bit of a strange question to ask someone. Right? Someone walks into my office, they look old. I say, wow, how old are you? <laughs> right? You know, that would not go over. Right? That would not go over so well. So here's Yaakov, the and he and they stood him up. They presented, they stood him up before Paro. Paro is a bit taken aback. He hasn't it seems he's not used to seeing a person who looks, who is, or at least who looks, who presents as being this old. Vayomer Yaakov el Paro. And Yaakov said to Paro, Yemei shnei Migurai, the days of the years of my travels, of my sojourns, are shloshim ma'at shana, 130 years. Ma'at v'ra'im hayu, few and bad. They were, yemei shnei chayai, the days of the years of my life. V'lo hisigu et yemei shnei chayai avotai. And they have not reached the days of the years of the lives of my forefathers, of my parents, my father, my, my father's, my grandfather, b'yemei megurehem during the days of their sojourns. So he's saying, if Paro is asking him about his accomplishments, he is modestly minimizing them, nothing compared to what my father or my grandfather was. You know, in the Gemara we, we have a, an expression, chometz ben yayin, that's what I consider myself. Vinegar, the son of wine. I'm nothing compared to 
to who my father was. But Yaakov is, is kvetchim. Right? Ma'at, few, ra'im, bad, were the days of my life. Right? Why is he kvetching over here? Why is he complaining? So again, if Paro is asking this question like, wow, how old are you? Right? Which seems to be breaking all protocol. See, his response is, let me explain why I look so old even though I'm not that old. Actually, I'm a sprightly 130. However, why do I look so old? Because ma'at v'ra'in, few and difficult were the days of, of the years of my life. I've had a very, very difficult life, and he has. And he has. I mean, let's just recount for a moment, right? The brachos, Esav, running away, 14, working for seven years, tricked, working another seven years, then to marry the, right, in, in advance, right, right, in payment for having married Rachel, another six years of working, been duped and duped and duped and tricked and tricked and making his way back, encountering the Tsar of Esav, that angel, encountering Esav, finally trying to settle down after that, Yosef being taken away for all those years, Shimon being incarcerated, I want to with Shimon, Binyamin being taken, I mean, it's been harrowing. So he's explaining, that's why, Atkabit Sorarai, David Amelech says in Tilm, we say it as part of, of, of our Tachanun, Atka, I've become Atik, I've become aged, Bit Sorarai, from my difficulties. Nevertheless, uh, our sages tell us, I think the Balaturim here says, that, ya- that he lived to 150 and his father lived to 183. I think I have the numbers correct. He lost 33 years of his life because he kvetched. To Paro. Why did he quetch? Why did he quetch? Um, he was worn out. He was tired. Well, mm-hmm. he was trying to explain why he looked that old, but it's so important how we present to others. Now, what's fascinating, he's, come with me. He's human being. We're quetching. Yeah. Now let's start counting the words from Pasuk Chet in Hebrew. Vayomer Paro Yaakov. Paro said to Yaakov, that's four. Kama yemei shnei chayecha. That's another four, that's eight. What are the years of your life? So far that's eight. Vayomer Yaakov el Paro yemei shnei mugurai shloshim umaat shana. Yaakov said to Paro, the days of the years of my life are 130 years. That's another 10 words. Ma'at v'ra'im hayu yemei shnei chayai v'lo hisigu et yemei shnei chayai avotai v'yemei megurehem. Has not reached the years of the age of my, of my parents' life in their sojourns. So we have 25, another 15, and 10, 25, and 8, 33. Altogether, 33 words in this conversation. Those are the 33 years that were taken from Yaakov's life. But I understand why we're including Yaakov's words. That's only 25. Why are those, why are the words of Paro? Why are those eight words also included? I understand his words of kvetching. His words of complaining. But why are Paro's words included also? Why should he lose a year of his life for each of the words of Paro? Why is he held responsible for Paro's words? What would you say, my friends? No clue. 
<laughs> no clue at all. No, he caused them to... I would say that we're not just responsible for what we say, but sometimes we say a lot without saying a word. So he could, Yaakov complained about his life verbally, but also the way that he presented himself, which initiated Paro's question of how old are you, that was also a complaint. Do we hear that? It's not, we're not, it's not just what we say. Right? What we say is a lot less important than what we broadcast. If I say, I love you, I might have said I love you, but love wasn't conveyed. I really, really, from the depths of my heart, I really hate you. Right? It's not what we say, it's what we are, right? the body language. That's what we call it in, 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 in modern terms. That's what we are really, really expressing. Yaakov was held responsible for his full expression, for his expression of what he said and his expression of what he broadcast, what he presented. And I think that is also so, so important that so much... It's not just what we say, but what is it that we are presenting is a better word. Uh, what is it that we are broadcasting, right, in who we are, what we are, how we act. That Yaakov is fully responsible not just for what he said, but for that which he presented and broadcasted. Yes, you know, Ora. I want to present something different. Good. <laughs> to propose, I mean. The Paro says, how are you? Because he sees an old man. Or how old are you? Because he sees an old man and he has respect. And he wants to know about this man. So he says, how old are you? And then why uh, Yaakov uh, kvetches is because maybe he's also afraid that Paro will have this idea of hiring him to be something like his son. Could be. Very uh, nice. I, I, Very I, nice. I, so I, I'm, I'm no good. I'm no good. Continuing, in the, continuing with, with Yosef trying to make sure that we will be off, off, off on our own, yeah. right? So he's letting him know, right, don't, don't appoint me. I might look old and sage, but um, yeah. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to leisure world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Be Could be. Could be. Could very well be. Rachel. This the same in the same thought. Uh, Jews in Galut, when we're encouraged not to show off, we're encouraged to show project less than who they were. Yeah. And that's yeah. exactly what he Yeah, doing. actually, that's, that's, that's also a very nice point. Uh, Yaakov, Yaakov when, he told his bro, when he told his sons right, to go down, he said, Lama titra'u. Why should we appear to be so, um, so prosperous? You know, and... and, 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 and kind of, yeah. To kind of... Um, yeah. Suppress. Yeah. And to be humbler than they... Yeah. So there is this, uh, this book very famous and the very famous Jewish German writer Faith Wanger, the own Faith Wanger. And the, there was a movie put by Germans actually, Jew Zeus. Jew Zeus. There were two Jews. Both of them were very uh, wealthy and very famous. One of them was a banker who actually held in his hands all the financial uh, power of, of that German small country. It was a feudal system. And the other one was also a Jew, became very rich, and he was showing off all his wealth. And that, that banker, Jew, is telling him, why are you doing that? Why, why all these garments and all these carriages, and why do you, they will hate you even more. You, you have to, the power is, 
It doesn't need demonstration. Yeah. 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 And certainly over our uh, history, we've seen when we're surrounded, that. When we're yeah. Somewhere, yeah. That we should. But uh, nea lechet in Hashem So that's why he right. was watching one yeah. of the reasons. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I hear. I hear. Yes, Dov. Another example of, of something kind of related is um, when you're allowing something to be said that shouldn't have been said, and Yosef did that. And he lost years too from that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, the sage will also tell us that every time that he heard the brothers say, Our father, your servant. And it was. Right? So that also. Uh, at the same time, Jacob gave a blessing uh, to Pharaoh. To Pharaoh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Because so, so he was an. He, clearly, he was an old, an old um, sage, respected. Right, uh, individual. And Pharaoh was not surprised. He took the blessings. So yeah. He actually understood the power. And the yeah. The yeah. Of which which works nicely mm -hmm. with what our Oro was saying that if he, if he's receiving a bracha from him, bracha. right? So then a uh, blessing. So then he's a uh, no. I said what what Oro said also before, right? So that so then you know so maybe he was trying to uh, to temper down uh, any expectations and any uh, any uh, any appointings that could happen. Okay, my friends, we'll call it over here. Yashar koach lachem, chazak baruch. Yes, I do.